Hey everyone, this is Fix Reef, and today we have a Castle A360W that's in for repair. Uh, these lights are somewhat tricky to repair for a variety of reasons I will go over today, uh, but uh, this particular one does not turn on, and when I try to plug it into the bench power supply and give it about, you know, an amp or so current, it goes into the overcurrent protection, meaning that there is a short somewhere. Nothing lights up on the cluster itself. Uh, no fan turns on, uh, no signs of life whatsoever. So we're going to go ahead and take it apart and see if we can fix it. I already uh, started the disassembly, removed the knobs, a couple of screws. So all we have to do now is pull, try to pull it out, just like that. And um, that's the typical stack of components inside of a castle light. Looking inside, well, let me actually disconnect this top board first, and we'll take a look inside. Okay, so quite a bit of dust on the inside that needs to be cleaned up. Okay, a large amount of dust has been removed. There is definitely still some left around, but at least it's a little bit uh, more pleasant to work with now. Uh, okay, so let's take a look. So the power comes in, and it goes into this board over here. And this board um, is something that we'll likely have to also remove because we need access to um, other components of this. So let's see if we can take this off. Okay, so this gives me enough room to work with everything without necessarily disconnecting every single piece here. All right, so the great thing about castles is that they can formal coat their boards. So all this shininess that you see is all this conformal coating, transparent conformal coating that, um, that's there to protect all of the, all of the components. Uh, by the looks of it, this is a four channel light. There are each channel controls. Um, here on this board, and let's see how far we get through this power. I'm just going to go ahead and plug it in again into my lab power supply, give it some power, and watch the output. Once again, just to make sure that no light actually comes on, or tries to come on, no, um, my intensity and the color are all, both of them are in the lowest setting and there is no response. So what this tells me is that hopefully the problem is with the power circuit, so early on in the board. Again, if um, the problem is with the main LED cluster here, it's not going to be repairable. You cannot really replace those components. But other items on these boards, if there is a problem, we can probably replace it. So, so far, so good. Um, I'm going to uh, lower my current limit um, on, the, on the bench power supply to something really, really small, so that there is absolutely no way I can damage anything uh, if I just provide power. One of the challenges, of course, of working with Kessels is the fact that the conformal coating is covering absolutely everything. So to get to any of the components on either side of these boards, uh, I'll have to I'll have to remove conformal coating, and that's um, and that's usually a pain to deal with. Since this since we're talking about a short, it makes sense to attempt to find where that short is. So to find the short, I'm going to plug it in and see if anything heats up. Okay, and as I as I provide power, it looks like these two black components, one of these two black components, is heating up. I can feel it with my fingers being um, being nice and warm when when it's plugged in. These two components are the um, diodes. They're there to protect 
the main board from uh, too much voltage, um, reversed polarity, that those type of things. But those also are the first ones to fail. So let's test for that. All right. Right away, it looks like there is a short, or appears to be a short across this um, this diode. Yeah, there is definitely a short across this diode. Presumably, that's the problem. So let's um, get under the microscope. Let's attempt to remove this diode, expose it, remove it, and um, see if uh, if the short goes away. All right. So hopefully, you can see the two diodes. Uh, this is the diode that indicated a short. Um, we don't know that yet because there are other things. There are like capacitors over here and, and other things that can go wrong. But I'm going to go ahead and start with this diode, remove that, and see if that helps us. So first we need to remove conformal coating. Okay, that's probably going to be enough. Okay, next um, I'm going to add some uh, some um, solder and further get rid of the um, get rid of the coating. Okay, now we have nice amounts of solder on there, so it should be removable. Now let's try to remove it. Okay, now the diode's removed. Let's test for uh, continuity. In fact, what we can do is we can start by testing the diode itself. And it looks like the diode is shorted. Now let's test the board again. And it looks like the short is gone. Now all we have to do is attempt to replace the diode and see if the um, light will work again. All right, so as usual, first remove old solder. Real quick cleanup. All right, I want to make sure that the conformal coating around the area is all gone. And it looks like it is, because I want the new um, diode to sit straight on the pads and not on conformal coating. Good deal. All right, so this needs some more, some fresh solder. All 
looks nice and clean. All right, next we'll need to get a new uh, diode. One of these should work. And let's have it installed. All right, so for the install, we'll need a little bit more flux. I'll just use my iron to, to put it in place. Okay, it's in place, nice and solid, just need a bit of cleanup. Okay, and before I can formal code everything, I actually want to test to see if the light works. This is still my lab power supply with limited current, so it's entirely possible that the light is going to shut off because it doesn't have enough um, enough current given to it, which is perfectly fine. My intensity is at the lowest, that way I don't have to worry about overheating the light. So let's plug it in, see what we get. All right, now let's increase the intensity. The light is on, the fan is on. Let's not run it. Let's not run it for too long. But I think this light is going to work. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is conformal code the area that we just repaired. So for conformal coding, I use this um, material. There are many other options available. You won't need a lot. And that's about it. Now let's reassemble and test. Okay, so let's plug it in and see if we can get it to work. All right, so we need intensity. The fan is on, the light is on. There it is at the maximum brightness. 
and let's change the color. The color changes. And the brightness is fully adjustable again. Well, this completes this repair. Today we fixed this castle light. It turned out to be a problem with the, one of the diodes on the power circuit side. Um, we had to replace the diode and we had to uh, conformal coat everything back again so that it's fully protected, just like the original light. And this light is back in operation again. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.